Hi, it's Sean from Journey Alberta, and today I'm out in the Elbow Valley part of Kananaskis. It's right near Bragg Creek. I came out here today to have a fire, just kind of escape the city for the day. And right now I'm in Cobble Flats, and it appears there's no fire pits here anymore. There was last year, I'm really surprised. I know that just uh, back down the road at Elbow Falls, there was a couple left over from the flood, a couple of fire pits, and they took them out earlier this year. So it seems like they took them out here too. I'm, I don't know why. I'm very surprised because this was not a flood damaged uh, picnic area. But nonetheless, I am surprised and I'm gonna try and find a fire pit out here to cook up some food. Before trying to find a fire pit, I walked down to the Elbow River to get a view of the 2013 flood damaged area. So I drove just down the road, I didn't even exit the Cobble Flats day use area, and I found a spot that actually has some fire pits. Now that I've found a fire pit, I've kind of got everything set up, uh, I'm gonna show you a way to split wood if you don't have an ax on you, and you only have a knife like this, or maybe something smaller. It'll work with anything really. So, it's really, Put it on the top like that. Take another piece. And you've got kindling. All right, now I'm gonna show you what kind of food I brought out here to cook up. So I've got some butter. Some uh, paper towel to wipe stuff off. Some yellow beans. Marshmallows. Can't have a fire with our, without marshmallows. Some carrots and potatoes, seasoned and a little bit of oil on them to help them cook better ketchup for the potatoes. I got a little plate, my roaster stick, extra water, a spatula, and to cook everything in, my cast iron frying pan. Now I'm probably gonna cook up these first, the carrots and potatoes, just because I'm really, really feeling it. I'm really feeling like eating them first. Oh, they're gonna taste so good over the open fire. They cook very well. So, I might as well start cooking them. Okay, here we go. My carrots and potatoes are cooked. Put a little bit of ketchup on there. Bring my water over. It's time to dig in. Hopefully it turned out pretty good. Oh, that was a great potato. Let's try a carrot now. Mmm, so good. Something that I forgot to bring out here actually was an oven mitt, so I've just been using this to grab my frying pan. Just go just move really fast so that I don't burn myself. I feel like there's always one thing I forget. If I go camping or come out here, there's always one thing. At least it hasn't been something critical like a lighter or you know my flint and steel or a knife. I usually always remember those. Alright. Kind of crisp one side of them, but should still be pretty good. All 
right. See so yeah, how these green beans, or sorry, yellow beans turned out. Mmm, they actually taste the crispness adds a kind of a different flavor to them. And like I said before, you can't have a fire without having some marshmallows. Clean off my roaster stick here. Burn off some fuzz on it. Start roasting. There you go. Roasted marshmallows. I'm really excited to eat these. Now that I'm done using my fire, I'm going to show you how to properly extinguish a fire. Because there's been many times where I've been out here that I've seen people just leave a fire, like even with some flame in it still. And you should never do that. Because that's how forest fires are started. So I'm going to show you how to properly extinguish a fire. First, you pour water. You soak it. Soak the coals, you stir it, so if there are any coals that are still hot, and I can see a few that are still uh, red hot in here, they come up and take some more water, soak again. Uh, and you know, you don't have to stir it after this. But I like to give it one more stir, just to kind of get the water in there. And just like that, that is how you extinguish a fire properly out here. On my way back to Calgary, I stop at the usually popular Elbow Falls to walk around and enjoy a rare time when no one else is out there. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to leave a like and comment. Subscribe for new videos every Friday, and check out the last two weeks' videos by clicking right on them.